not to use one part or the other part or only need one or more parts, um, it's able to be watched without having to watch a 45 minute video. Um, I start with one and a half parts of epoxy of each A and B. I've already let it sit for about six minutes. I'm using a silicone face mask brush that I got off of Amazon. They come in a pack of a bunch of different sizes. I prefer this one because it nicely sits around the outer parts of the cup. Um, I have heated up my epoxy a little bit because I feel like the thinner it is, the smoother it goes on the cup um, and more evenly. So I've heated up just, just a little bit with my heat tool um, that I got at Joann's with a 50% off coupon and it made it like seven bucks. It's Darice heat tool. It's an embossing tool. Not to be confused with a heat gun, um, it's different. Not exactly sure how, but it is. <laughs> um, so I've set that aside. Uh, I'm going to start by letting you guys know I've taped off the inside of my cup with a little bit of it overlapping the outer rim of the cup and not touching the outside of the cup. I don't tape off any other parts because I like it fully glittered. So I just dip my brush in the epoxy, excuse me guys, um, just dip it in the epoxy just like this and just start. I just brush it on really lightly and with it being heated up and it thinner, it tends to go further. Um, I've seen a lot of people have to use uh, two parts or two teaspoons or whatever you want to call it um, of each. I only use one and a half and normally this is a little more than I need. Um, so I'm just going around the outer rim. As you can see with the silicone brush, it just smoothly goes on to the cup. Um, it's not got any hairs, so there's nowhere for it to seep in. You're getting more out of your epoxy along with um, it being quicker and more cost efficient because you're not buying a million brushes. Um, as you can see, just that one dip with my silicone brush has gone on a quarter of the cup, um, which is another thing I love about these brushes. I also don't really have to go back over and smooth it out very much and make it very even because these brushes do it for me. So I'm just getting it on all the way around. I tend to go like this and go back and forth because it moves the epoxy around and you're not using so much, which in turn you're not using so much glitter because the glitter doesn't have as much to um, soak up. And I feel like that is a plus as well. I like to do things cost efficient. I do have my own business. Um, it's very small. I don't have any capital or anything like that. So I do everything as cost efficient as possible, which means more profit for me. A lot of people are doing this as a um, as a hobby, and some are trying to start a business. And for myself, I just always went cost efficient. Um, my husband's in the oil field, and I really turned this from a hobby into a business when it crashed, and we needed income. Um, plus I have <clears throat> I have four kids, two god kids, and 17 nieces and nephews that I help take care of um, as well. So the more money that I don't spend on tools and stuff like that, the more money that I have to spend on them. Um, baseball and soccer and 
football and everything else. You know, a lot of us are moms and we all understand that. Sorry, my small talk. Come on, I'm just brushing all this on. As you can see, I've only dipped my brush in my epoxy three times. Um, I'm gonna dip it a little tiny bit fourth time and I'm gonna shake it off so that I can put it on the bottom. Um, now, be careful around the bottom if you do do the bottom because it will it will get really thick on the outer rim and so I try and take off as much as possible um, and then just kind of smooth it around. And like I said, this brush specifically, the way that it goes like this, it kind of just smooths it out for me and puts the excess on the outer part. And then I can go like this and with three and a half dips, I have epoxied the whole cup and ready to apply the glitter. Um, again, brushing off the excess on the outside. And I still have enough to do probably another cup if I were to choose. Um, so now I am going to turn this around um, to my little glitter mess here. Um, I use for my Wonder Woman cup, excuse me, taking a drink here. Not used to doing tutorials. Um, for my Wonder Woman cup, I use Onyx colored glitter for the blue. It is Art Mines. I get it at Michael's, Joann's. Um, you can also get it online, but it's more expensive. Michael's, it's uh, $3.89, I believe. Um, and it does a lot of cups. Um, I'm also using red, just regular red. Um, this is Solon Extra Fine Glitter, or I'm sorry, it's called Ruby. Um, Solon Extra Fine Glitter. Um, I got this one at Walmart for $2.49. This one, again, Art Mines. Um, and it's onyx so I start with my onyx to do the this is like a navy it's the closest thing to navy I've found um, and I start halfway down the cup and I get it all the way around um, as much as possible I'm using a plate that way I can put my glitter back in. Um, as you can see, uh, it's not, the epoxy is not soaking up the glitter so much. And so I'm able to, again, use less glitter, um, which I love because it's more for the next cut. Now, I do go around it a couple of times, um, shaking off as I go. But because I used less epoxy with the silicone brushes, um, it's less glitter. And I'm ending up putting most of my glitter back in my container here. Um, I don't put as much glitter on the bottom. I do a couple light shakes just so it's real thin. Because if you don't, then it gets really thick at the bottom and then it gets not so circled. Um, and it's kind of a pain. Uh, you have to sand it down really hard and I have carpal and cubital tunnel in my arm um, and so it makes it very difficult for me to sand it down and it takes me forever um, now I'm gonna go to my red and I use the I use the gloves mainly to keep from getting so much red glitter I use my three-quarter leaf shirt um, and we're gonna tip the cup like this um, that way not to get so much on the blue um, and it's also falling off as I'm going so it's not getting inside the cup and I'm just spinning it with my hand and my glove is catching most of it because I know it's a pain to get glitter off of your entire body and then husbands and kids I have boys um, one girl and one goddaughter 
and three boys and a godson. So they complain about all the glitter. Well, my girls don't, but my boys do. Anyways, so I'm just tipping it and so not to get on the blue. As you can see, I haven't gotten much on the blue. And I just go around a couple of times just like I did the blue, slightly keeping it tipped up with my wrist, just kind of cocked. Um, now, the good thing about the glitter epoxy method, which I first learned from Kim, um, is I don't have to put it on my turner right away. So, I am able to do other cups while this is drying. Now this only takes, um, I let it dry, but that's because I put a um, an automotive clear coat on it after I'm done. As you can see, it's pretty even. Pretty proud of myself. This is the first time I videoed myself doing all of this. Um, I videoed myself doing an HTV uh, on a cup and I was kind of nervous because I really don't like the way that my voice sounds. Um, anyways, so it's pretty even and I've used basically mm, three quarters of a teaspoon of each A and B epoxy and I've used barely any glitter honestly because um, I'm gonna open this and I'm, this was full when I started or three quarters of the way full. I've done two other cups with it. Um, and glitter is so expensive these days that I'm saving a lot of glitter when I put it back in. I've got basically my entire thing full of glitter again. And that's just one coat. Um, now I am going to, give me just a second, I'm going to move this, my glitter bucket, and I'm going to get my clear. I use the, I use Duplicolor Wheel Matte Clear Coat. And it sprays on really nicely. So I'm just gonna spray it, the whole cup, all the way around. Get a good couple of coats on there. Cause it just, all it does is really harden the glitter and keeps it from falling off whenever you go to put your first clear well, your first epoxy coat on, which I'm going to do next. Um, this can right here, I've done five cups with. So, it comes out really lightly, but that's why I am going over it over and over again. And it sprays. I don't know if y'all can see that. The way it sprays is very, um, like, fanned. So, that's cool, too, because you're not getting it everywhere and you're getting it exactly where you want it to be. So, that is how my cut begins. And I am going to stop this now and I will start the second part of this tutorial um, in just a couple of minutes. Thank you for tuning in.